Greetings, esteemed viewers. Uh, I am on break from this channel. For the most part, I shall remain so for a while. Um, busy with real life, and uh, I have another gaming channel that I've been working on quite a bit, learning Sony Vegas and stuff. Those of you who are interested, you know, stop by. But uh, I think Barbarossa made an extremely, extremely important video uh, addressing this issue, which I have kind of seen crop up every now and then. Now, this is on the fly. I'm just going to offer some thoughts. I think Barbarossa stated, um, uh, let me just say at the outset, I'm pretty much 100% in agreement with him, which is often the case. But uh, I think I can add a few things, um, maybe, to what he said, although he pretty much stated everything that needed to be stated. Let me also mention that uh, I'm kind of jumping in terms of order, but let me mention that I had made a video, and specifically in response to Eugene Pons you a while back, wherein I had talked about uh, the kind of woman who may or may not be legitimate, uh, legitimately interested in the MRA or the MRM, and I talked about the woman with son, divorce, and so on and so on, uh, so forth example. I had cited that as a possible example. I had also cited it as something that is probably in terms of the strength of commitment and the actual devotion to the cause, by far not as uh, legitimate as a woman such as Girl Rights Watt who uh, understands uh, the principles, the cause and effect, and at a, for altruistic reasons, for reasons of justice, for reasons of true understanding seeks to uh, address these issues rather than having a son who was simply wronged in a divorce court. That's all well and good, but we simply see uh, the female, the limited female loyalty to blood kin, that's been mentioned before, in effect there. That's all it is. It's, it's blood, blood kin loyalty. It's not loyalty or understanding. Of, a, of an abstract principle or of uh, less abstract principles, the many principles that encompass what we might call the MRM. So I, I've mentioned that specifically before. Also, uh, just like Barbarossa, I've done videos on South Korea and made a couple on um, China uh, addressing uh, hypergamy, this idea that it's somehow outside, the, outside of the West, it doesn't exist, it's, it's just bollocks. Um, but before I proceed, I, I think Man, Woman, Myth, who, those of you who don't know him, please subscribe to his channel. Excellent, excellent material. He really is a brilliant filmmaker and has a lot to say. But I'm going to quote one of the comments he made in Barbarossa's video. Quote, Worrying about how the ideas we discuss might be perceived by the uninitiated is worse than futile and likely counterproductive. It's a shame that so much energy is put towards these concerns. We are not popular in the dictionary sense and never will be, but then again, neither do we need to be, as discussed in the vid. Much better to say when what you think needs to be said in the manner of your choosing and let the chips fall where they may. Now, I think that's a very powerful statement, and I think that's what Barbarossa does, and I've tried to do the same thing on this channel. I've officially stated, I think, in my previous video uh, on homelessness, I, I'm not an, an MRA. I don't engage in activism, and I think there are too many differences in my personal philosophy regarding these issues, and as, as uh, someone who is going his own way, to, to label, give myself that label. I have nothing against them. I think it's great what they're doing for the most part. And I also don't have anything against Fiddleboat. Uh, he makes some great videos, um, and I love the uh, Workers in the Vineyard concept, so uh, that's another plus he's got going for me. But that said, uh, we do all need to state our message as we are accustomed to stating it. And I remember one of my viewers made a comment that I'm, I'm often regarded as an extremist, as is Barbarossa, I would think. Uh, but you know, I, I much like Barbarossa. I'm not. I'm not going to stop talking about female hypergamy. I'm not going to talk. Stop talking about female nature. I'm not going to stop talking about male nature. I'm certainly not going to start, stop talking about uh, human biology. Now, one thing I think I can add to this discussion a bit is that I can tell you why I personally, uh, among other reasons, focus on uh, human biology, female nature, and male nature. The male nature that enables all these passes that they get that has enabled the state of affairs that we currently live in. Uh, it's quite simple. If you take away all of the trappings of civilization, strip away all of the, um, the clothing, if you will, the, uh, the garments, the illusions, what we have is simply a 
rel relatively intelligent animal that, that at its base is still primarily concerned with reproduction. Uh, reproduction, reproductive drive, these are the driving forces of all living species and human beings are no exception. Now it is true that human beings with their rather complex civilization and uh, lots of technology these days in addition to that uh, have a kind of uh, sidewinderish uh, way of going about reproduction. It's not as uh, cut and dry as it is say with well I don't know, a bunch of frogs or mice or what have you but that said, uh, that is at the end of the day what is uh, going on. I mean, th that is the, 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 the foundation, the buttress of it all. Given that fact, and it is a fact, why not talk about it? By not talking about it, you're t one is totally dodging, skipping the, the, the issue, the causes more importantly, that affect uh, men and women. This, this whole mess that we're in currently is a mess that has resulted not specifically uh, uh, or solely rather uh, from uh, politicized feminism but hundreds of thousands of uh, years of hominid evolution wherein uh, females uh, were preference and privileged for the simple reason that they were the limiting factor in, uh, in reproduction. Uh, it's quite clear um, a man can die, his offspring can live on, a woman cannot. She needs to bear the child, bring it to the world. Very simple principles operate in there, but it all leads to our current state of affairs, our current situation, the one we find ourselves in now. Uh, not talking about biology uh, and its incredible importance in our behavior, not just men, uh, not just women, but men as well. It's just missing the point. It's, it's, like talking, it's like telling someone who's journeying to the steppes of Australia, which has, has a lot of poisonous creatures, scorpions, spiders, arachnids, uh, snakes, saying that, um, saying it's, it's really dangerous out in the steppes of Australia, but not telling them why. You know, there are tiger snakes, there are recluses, there are all sorts of poisonous creatures that will sting you and you'll die from it. It's, it's missing the point. Um, it's like having a clogged uh, pipe and you only uh, unclog the, the, little, the little bit on the top so your sink is, can, can drain a bit. But deep down, there, it's just clogged to death and you're probably going to have to dismantle the whole thing and replace it or just totally, uh, totally get rid of all the muck in it using some sort of really strong um, fluid. Not the best analogy, but you see what I'm getting at. The, I'm doing this on the fly. Not talking about human biology, female biology, female hypergamy, M male biology, male dominance hierarchy, how we punch ourselves in the face in order to uh, our fellow men, and how we walk o over uh, e each other uh, in an effort to gain uh, female um, favor. Not talking about that is, uh, is really missing the mark. Because we can on quite honestly talk about feminism until we're blue in the face. But if the key issues, uh, the things, that feminism could not exist without female nature and without a ma men's willingness to accommodate that nature. It, it simply would not exist. Um, we, the in-group studies show it, that we favor women over men. The evidence is there. Not talking about female nature uh, is ultimately harmful, I think, ultimately. Because as, my, as I said, I'm, I'm not an MRA and I just have this small channel and I, like Barb Russ, I've received a number of PMs telling me that I've helped men out. A few from women, never really in that sense, but uh, yeah, I have I helped men out. Why? Because it's kind of like the missing link. Uh, people talking about feminism to your blue in the face doesn't give uh, men the understanding, that missing link that they need to create a model of the world that is, that is actual, that is real, and that can be mapped onto uh, real events in their lives. Uh, because it's, an, it's a pure abstraction. Talking about concrete things in terms of statistics, numbers, female hypergamy, the male dominance hierarchy, male suicide, all these things, they're, they're very much concrete things that people, many men and many of my viewers, can map onto in their daily lives. They can attach that to an uh, event or a series of events, it makes sense. 
And the reason why it makes sense, and there's so much consensus in that regard, is because it's all real. Female hypergamy exists. Uh, you, by not, you can't not talk about it uh, and then make it go away. More importantly, there are a number of political benefits, long-term political benefits. I've talked about this numerous times, and once again, I'm in accord with Barbarossa, starving the system by informing men uh, of the nature, of their own nature, and of course, uh, female nature. We are arming them, in effect, uh, in such a way as to starve the system. Most men who are aware of the facts, as depressing, as, as, as soul-crushing as they can be, are not going to put themselves in a even worse situation by getting married, by engaging in the rituals that society has deigned to be proper. They're not going to do it. In the long run, that's going to have the benefit of, well, starving the system. Uh, that is, uh, in effect, indirect uh, political action. I want to help men on an individual basis. I'd like men to understand their lot in the world. And much like Barbarossa, I maintain this channel to be well independent and, and well, I, I don't affiliate with any uh, any specific group or organization. Although I, I I do feel a strong sense of intellectual kins kinship with Barbarossa on many many different issues, and I appreciate that. And of course, I've always appreciated his, his videos. Having said that. Uh, I've gotten subscribers uh, who, who tell me in PMs or in comments that they had to unsubscribe me because my message was just too depressing. Well, hey, my message doesn't cheer me up either, but um, it's kind of a moot point. There's no... You know, the blue pill world, the matrix, I mean... I, 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 I'll call that the cipher complex. This is what I'm... The cipher, who wanted to chew the steak that Agent Smith was offering, who betrayed his comrades. I understand the cipher complex, the cipher motivation, uh, but for those who have been exposed to this and find it too depressing, who've actually internalized, and I've talked about the difference between acknowledgement and internalization, internalize these things as nigh irrefutable facts, is a cipher scenario wherein you return to the blue pill matrix world, matrix world even plausible? I mean. I'm, not, I'm going to be honest, full disclosure, I've sometimes thought of that. What if I just you know, swallowed the blue pill again, pretended everything was fine? Because I'm a weak human being, We're all, we all have our weaknesses, we all shrug as Atlas has. But the, the problem is I, I can't do that. You, you can't, well, plug yourself back in. There's, there's, it's actually not an option. Um, so those few men who, who decide to say, unsubscribe me for reasons of depression or what have you, because the message isn't you know, cheery, uh, I, I reckon you're not going to have that much of an easier time just ignoring it. Because, like it or not, when you go out journey out in the real world, when you have relationships with women, when you decide to get married, you will be confronted with it. Um, so that's, in that regard, pretty much what I have to say about that. Human biology is the driving force of human beings. You can't ignore it. You can, at your own peril, but you're not going to get a whole lot done. Moreover, you're not going to be helping men with the core issues. The core issues are, there are, there are political issues, but all those political issues ultimately stem from, from men's interpersonal relationships with women. And the only way you can address that is by specifically talking about the cause and effect relationship between relationship failures, between marriage failures, how it all works, putting the, the pieces of the puzzle together. Because the political thing just exists in a vacuum without that. The biological factors exist with or without the political issues. So, uh, I'm certainly not going to discourage people who, I mean, everyone has a sales pitch ultimately, but if you're selling a specific product, um, then of course you have to present it in a certain way. I, I'm willing to bet money that girl writes what takes, I, in fact, I know it, it, takes extreme caution in the way she presents her message so as not to be too offensive. And that is important because, well, of her online person, persona, but also the way, she, the way she's been received. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't mince meat here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm not vastly subscribed like she is, and very few people actually bother watching my videos. So it doesn't really matter. Um, 
sorry, means my words. The, 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 you can't just you can't avoid the biology. It's just not possible because you're just talking about the floating abstractions uh, otherwise. You can talk a lot about the biology without talking about the other stuff on the, on the other hand. Uh, there is a causal relationship between female hypergamy and divorce. People, men, women who don't want to believe that, well, uh, it, it's been studied. There, we have the data. We've looked at the data. We can post more data. I don't know how much data do you need. people need to be convinced. On the final note of making women feel comfortable, uh, well, that's really not my top priority. Uh, for lots of reasons. Women don't go out of their way to make fe men feel comfortable. I see no uh, sense of obligation on my part to make women feel comfortable for that, uh, for similar reasons. After all, uh, uh, this is a channel devoted to, well, men's issues. Uh, I mean, if women want to jump on board for legitimate reasons, that's cool. Um, but those legitimate reasons are going to be pretty rare, I think. Most women who are going to look at my channel or even have any involvement in my will view it as kind of a passing uh, interest, a passing fascination. After all, I've made a video about this. I don't think uh, women and men fit each other like a, like like kick, kick gloves. There are there are conflicting uh, interests here, and I want to stress something that Barbara said in a video once: that men and women are each other's vehicles of pro creation of reproduction, uh, not each other's natural partners. Natural partner implies, uh, to my mind, in the sense of a business contract, uh, uh, an equitable distribution of benefit to each party member. But not only in the modern sense, but if you look at our history and prehistory, we see that the equitable distribution in the so-called human relationship contract has uh, by far, by far gone to women with uh, men far, far too often getting the short end of the stick. Um, I don't believe ultimately this can be remedied, but the precaution we can take as men going our own way, as people who just want to be informed, is to uh, rail against that and not buy into that. Um, there's, no, there's, not, there's nothing else really to be said about that. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, I am disappointed by that statement that Fiddlebogan made, I have to say. Not in him as a person, but uh, if you need to sell something, I understand. But um, you know, in the video I made a while back where I talk about you don't, you, don't just, you don't just make nice with feminists to get your way because they have oppositional uh, desires and they don't have men's best interests at heart. And like mine, the majority of women, unfortunately, unfortunately, the majority of women do not have men's best interest in heart. Uh, talked about this numerous times, solipsism, self-interest, me syndrome, um, and, and a willful ignorance of when it, with regards to looking at hard numbers and facts. We see it in the reactions of men who enable women. Uh, we, have, uh, we have the cards stacked against us. Uh, I don't even know if it can be done. I don't know if it can be undone. Uh, hundreds of thousands of years of human evolution. Well, if it can, all we can do is defend ourselves, and our best defense is information. That's uh, that's pretty much it. We need to inform ourselves, inform other people. Uh, people are catching on. I'll give you an example. I mean, I, I've had friends who who really have very little to do with YouTube. First linked to Barbara Russell, then to my channel. They're they're catching on. They're paying attention to that stuff in real life. And uh, that's, that's a very powerful ripple effect. So, you know, to MRMs, MRAs who are involved in activism and what have you, you know, more power to them. But uh, you're not going to kill the snake uh, by uh, not focusing on, uh, well, its biology. Uh, you know, that's sort of making allusions to the serpent in the, Eden, uh, in the Garden of Eden, but you need to focus on, on what, what the causes are. Um, everything else, to my mind, is peripheral. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Sorry that was a bit discombobulated, but I'm going back on to break from this channel. And thanks very much to Barbara Russ for making the video. Uh, I really appreciate all the work you've done. And, and, and look at my channel. My channel would not exist if it had not been for his channel to begin with. Uh, so I think there's a lot of stuff that we are doing to helping for, for to help men 
and I hope it continues. And if you're interested in computer games, specifically Mass Effect, do swing by my other channel at Stardusk LP. Thanks for watching. Everyone take care. Wish you all the best.